Hi, and welcome to my quick guide of the quest The Tower of Life. There are no quest requirements and the stat requirement is having 10 construction. For the items needed are a hammer, saw, a regular beer and any kind of gloves. Some gloves do not work but they are really uncommonly used. So just bring your graceful or your RFD gloves and you should be fine. Then what is recommended is to have at least 11 empty inventory slots. But having 19 empty ones is much better. Now it is also recommended if you want to complete an Ardoin medium diary after the quest is completed, bring along a raw chicken as well as a raw swordfish and maybe also a weapon to kill a combat 46. There are no recommended teleports but one after the quest is completed is always helpful. So where to start this quest is here at the Tower of Life just south of Ardi, just east of the Ardoin Monastery. Let's talk to Effigy, the guy with the white hair and select option 1. After speaking to him we will need to go north of the tower and there we'll find an NPC sitting around. Talk to Bonifido. And after speaking to him we will need to talk to the NPCs next to the tower just west. Uh, let's first go a bit southwest and talk to the guy next to the wall, talk to no fingers and after talking to him you will be able to pickpocket him and if you fail try again until you get some builder's boots. Next let's talk to the guns and he will trade in a shirt for a beer. Next just a bit north they'll find two NPCs. Talk to black eye and then select option 3, 1 and then 2 to get a helm. Once you've gotten piece 4 out of 5, let's go southeast of the tower. Outside of the tower, go all the way around and at the southeastern part you'll find 3 bushes. Search the center one. 1, 2, 3, center bush, you'll find some trousers. And let's now go back to Bonafido and he will ask some questions. Just select option 2, 3, 1 and then 2 and he will allow you access to the building. Oh, but first wear your clothing and then let's talk to him. 2, 3, 1, 2. Alright, after he has given you access to the Tower of Life, uh, inside you will find a couple of boxes with some hay in it which you can search. Let's go to the eastern wall and search the one that is touching the wall. Keep searching that crate until you've found four valve wheels. This can take a while. After you have found the fourth valve wheel, we'll need to go to the western side and next to the and next to the stairs you'll find two more crates with hay. Search both of them. And now we will need to get four metal balls and three metal sheets. Once you have your four balls, four wheels and three sheets, let's go upstairs to the second floor and then to the northern wall. Fix the pressure machine and then select option 1.
leave the levers as they are and at the first valve turn it left twice by clicking on the left side of the wheel twice and then four times on the right side and this is number one out of four completed next turn the left lever down then turn the second valve left twice so the hole is fixed and then turn it right three times until the pipe is filled next for the third pipe Turn right twice, so there's a hole. Turn left once and then click on the right side three times to fix number three. Then for pipe number four, turn the right lever down. Then turn the right valve wheel three times to the right. So there's a hole, one on the left and then two on the right. And this should automatically close your interface. It is machine one out of three completed. Let's go back downstairs and get the materials for machine number two and three. Let's go to the southern wall and at the southern wall search both crates. In these two crates we'll need to get four binding fluids and five metal bars. Then at the eastern side you should find three crates. Let's search the northern one and here you should find some rivets. Get six of them. These are stackable. Then in the northeastern corner, just a couple of tiles northwest, search that crate and get five pipe rings. And after you've gotten the five pipe rings, just behind you, search that crate to get four regular pipes. And then we're done. Fifth pipe ring, just behind you, search that grate and get four pipes. Alright, after we've done that, we need to climb two staircases. Once you've found item number 19, Let's go back upstairs and let's climb up two staircases. On the second or third floor, let's go south and fix the pipe machine. Select option one. So for the first one, let's uh, select the biggest pipe, rotate it twice and then use the arrow keys or the arrow buttons to move it to, well, yeah, the only place where it kind of fits. So. This pipe needs to be connected to the third pipe on the top, starting from the left. And this was also the only pipe that you have to rotate. So let's now select, it doesn't really matter, but select the smallest one and then just move this all the way to the second pipe, starting from the left. Connect those two. Then a misshaped capital E. Let's move that all the way to the left and connect that with pipe number one. Then 
then the junction pipe, move this all the way up, then connect this to pipe number four. And then the final one, connect this pipe with the two other pipes in the bottom left corner. Just wait a second and this should close automatically. This is number two out of three completed. Let's climb up the ladder in the northwestern corner. And let's fix this cage. Yes, option one. Click on the square next to vertical and you will get one of size one. Click on plus to enlarge it to size two. Then click on the square just above place bar and this is one out of 15 done. Next, select a horizontal one, size two, place bar, another horizontal one, size three, place bar. And let's now turn left, let's say. I need a horizontal one, size two, place bar, horizontal one, size two, place bar, vertical, size two, place bar. Let's turn left, horizontal one, size four, place bar, vertical, size two, place bar, vertical, size three, place bar, rotate left for the final side, horizontal, wait, what? place bar, bitch, for the final side, horizontal, size two, place bar, vertical, size two, place bar, and then the final one, Vertical size four, place bar. And after one second, this is the final machine fixed. So what we'll now need to do is just run back and forth. So let's first go back downstairs and let's talk to Effigy, the guy where you started the quest at. After you've spoken to him, you will see a fade out. After the fade out, let's return to the top floor. Once we've reached the top floor, you will see a cutscene. But this cutscene can take a while, so it is uh, spacebar time. After the cutscene is over, let's go back downstairs and let's return to the western side outside of the Tower of Life to talk to Effigy. Once we've spoken to Effigy, once again we will need to make our way to the top floor to talk to the Homunculus. Homunculus. And we will need to talk to the Homunculus to start our quiz. Basically, you can complete this quiz by providing seven answers of the same kind. Either you will need to answer seven logical ones or seven magical ones. Decide which one you want to answer. It honestly doesn't matter at all what you are going to select. So let's talk to the homunculus and let's start our short quiz. If you want to provide seven logical answers, then you want to select option 1331223. And if you want to select seven magical ones, select option two, two, one, three, three, one, one. After you've completed the quest, let's go back downstairs and let's return to Effigy once again to see a very short cutscene. 
And then we are almost done with our quest. Let's talk to Effigy. The homunculus will quickly appear, scare them after they are gone. We will need to make our way to the dungeon underneath the Tower of Life. It is indicated with a explanation mark. So let's enter the building. Search and open the trap door. Don't search, just open. Climb downstairs. Let's run north. You will find one NPC. Talk to Hermanculus to complete your quest. And congratulations, you've completed the Tower of Life quest. You are awarded with two quest points. 1000 construction experience, 500 crafting and thieving experience, access to creature creation minigame, as well as the builder's outfit. While equipped, the beckon emote, if I can quickly find it, is now enhanced. Also, this outfit can be stored in your armor case in your POH. Now, if you also want to complete an AR Doin medium diary task, and you've brought along a raw chicken as well as a raw swordfish, Go back south and at the ladder just go a bit southwest and there you should find an altar. Use your raw chicken and a raw swordfish on it, then activate and they should spawn a sword chick of comet 46. Defeat it to complete a Ardoin medium diary task. Alright, this was my quick guide how to complete a Tower of Life quest. Hopefully it has helped. Subscribe, rate and comment. Okay, thanks, bye. I kind of want to remake my Ardoin Medium Diary, so I'm just gonna not kill it. Lol. Okay, thanks, bye.